Good day, folks. This is your host, Lord Valderox. And as you, many of you probably already know, looking right at the news section, we have another banner coming up. And I know I didn't do one for the, I guess you could say, the singularity that came out along with the servants because, well, I don't know. I felt like there was a lot of videos on that one too. Not gonna say there's not a lot of videos on this one too out there on YouTube as of the moment of them making of my video. And then with a couple of hours before this banner is coming up too. But, but despite that though, I'm here right here to make a new video regardless. So, highlighting again, same as before when I made a video for Edmund Dantes. The whole, uh, I guess you could say, cute versus... No, the waifu appeal or husbando appeal, depending on if it's male or female, versus, and then the whole the arts and aesthetics of the servant, versus the whole, uh, are they good enough type of appeal if they're strong. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So, right off the bat, I will say this she is the only one in this next coming banner. So, that's, I guess, if you want to look at it, one was a good thing, but if you're rolling, I guess it's one of those things where, like, if you're hoping to get another four star with a rate up, good luck with that because she's the only five star in this banner as far as SSSR goes. No SRs. So, if you're looking to throw courts, throw in moderation. And if you really want her, again, dividing into the categories, not gonna lie, she is a very adorable, cute servant. Her final ascension art, I don't have it on here, but if you were to look at Serenopedia, she, again, it's one of those things you have a divided distinguishing line between cute and, I guess you could say, seductive, or both, and you don't really care, then, again, more power to you. Go ahead and pick her, if you're going for that whole cute and sexy and, uh, dare I say it, um, sex appeal. But again, that's on the one end of the spectrum, right? On the other end of the spectrum, her, as far as you usefulness yes she is a writer single tiger target writer at that her class as i mentioned writer obviously max attack when i believe it's level 90 it will be 10,296 max hp is 13,968 with a little buster noble phantasm i believe her deck consists of quick 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 arts buster or it might be two quicks and two busters. I'd have to look it over again just to be sure. But let's see. Aside from that, though, her noble phantasm itself deals significant special attack damage to a single enemy. And on top of that, if it just so happens to be a male enemy, that male enemy will receive even more damage. So. Think of her, I guess you could say, like Orion and Uriel, in that they specialize in killing male enemies. But the only, I guess you could say, downside to this is that they could probably do it more better than she can. Is one way of looking at it, I guess. Because their noble phantasm f focuses around that along with their skill sets. As far as Medby goes, though, I think she only has it in her Noble Phantasm to do that extra damage. At least, the very least, a special attack damage. And along with that, as you can see, it says decreases mental debuff resist. Which, again, isn't really as effective skill as one would think. Because as far as her skills go... She has Golden Rule A, which again is a nice skill. It has some HP restoration for three turns, along with MP gauge increase for three turns. And again, the whole debuff immune for three turns, so you can't debuff her. But again, and then her Charisma, which is rank B, and then after skill interlude goes to rank A. But again, it's one of those things where like... Starts off at rank B first, so unless, of course, you plan to go through the hoops of doing the interlude and a certain minimum requiring a bond level and ascension level to go with that, and again, more power to you. And then the Siren Song, which is charm in a sense. Starting as low as 50% at level 1 and going as high as 80%, which again, it's not a 100% success guarantee. And like I said... Looking over her deck right now, as I'm checking right on right now at this moment online, she has a 
quick arts arts buster buster so forgiveness for the brief butchering of her deck a moment ago but aside from that is she adorable and beyond words heck yes is she strong again she's one of those servants that she is story locked so if you want her because she's limited and cute and rare again don't let me stop you in terms of the whole bashing her for the whole stats because stat wise I'm not going to say Ushi Wakamaru again, a three star, can do a better job than her. If anything, well, maybe yes or no, depending on the situation. But it's one of those things because she is a five star, unless, of course, you plan her to get, plan to get her to MP2 and then above that, her damage can only do so much. But again, it's one of those things where, again, if you're not all for power and you're all for cuteness, and adorableness and all those old kawaii stats of apologies on the mispronunciation of there are any but again if you're all for that again more power to you in any case though within the next couple of hours at the very least i want to say what three hours and a half will be have the should have the banner available unless of course there's going to be a butchering where we have we're supposed to have what was it a certain banner, I forget which one it was, but it didn't show up within the hour. I think it might have been the Edmund Dante's banner. Yeah, it might have been the Edmund Dante's banner. I don't recall though. In any case though, this is my assessment for Med B. Again, like I said, I'm probably going to go roll for her. As to whether or not I decide to get her to NP2, it's one of those things where I know she's going to show up later on again and again and again, so I might just settle for NP1 because if my hunch is correct and this is a going off the london banner right when we had the london banners we had the first part of london and then the second part and if we're going anything similar in style there's a good chance that the third part of the e pluribus unum banner is going to show up within a week after this and that's where i'll probably want to shine with my quartz more so on kukulain altar because in comparison Comparing both five stars and what they had to offer in terms of, again, for raw power, Kukulain Alter is a far more formidable servant. And there's a good chance that even after he shows up within the week of his banner, more likely than not, we're going to receive J Alter. But again, nothing set in stone. But again, it's one of those things where we're playing it by ear. But even then, even if the whole event was to alternate and J Alter's banner was, was, was is a, let's say, to come out next week, right? There's a good chance that, heck, after two weeks of the event, or one week, I believe it might be, I'd have to double check again, we'll probably get Cool Alter and Edison. But it's one of those things where are you prepared to roll for consecutive five stars back to back? But again, if you're going to be rolling for Med B, and then either Joan of Arc Alter or Kukulain Alter, be prepared, folks. Again, if it's one of those servants we were trying to. Be so picky about your five stars. Again, if you're a whale, you're probably more likely not get everything. Unless, of course, you have horrible E rank luck or C rank luck like I did. Or E, what's the word? Z for Zis luck. <laughs> like I did when I was trying to roll for Tesla. And unfortunately, didn't get Tesla. But that'll be a tale for, again, multiple, multiple times. In any case, though... This is your host, Lord Valdrox. I wish you all good luck if you're attempting to roll for Med B. And if not, well, again, no problem. The game will still continue on and on. And she'll make another appearance in another future banner where a certain little magical girl is going to show up. But again, that's a banner for another distant time in the future. Till then, though, this is your host, Lord Valdrox. Again, as always... Wishing you good luck on the singularity. We're still trying to complete it as of the moment making of this video. Or good luck on the gotcha if you're still trying to roll your nurse. Or if you're going to be patient and roll for the queen. Then again, more power to you. Do take care.